This mall was built in 1986, and we have a sneaking suspicion it is on the death watch. <laughs> it's definitely on the death watch. We're going to go check it out. And if you're into 80s things, and if you're into dead malls, check out our dead mall playlist. We will link it below. Let's go inside and take a look at Midway Mall. like over here, Abby, we have a defunct movie theater. Movie theater. theater. One, two, three, four, five screens, maybe? Definitely closed. Do what? This feels a bit like a ghost town. We just walked into the mall. I think this is the lesser used entrance because the main stores that are still open are down on the other end, and it's empty over here. Let's see what used to be here still is in here. I think Sears I think is... I think it's been updated. So Sears is Sears gone. gone. Burlington is still here. There's also a Dillard's. There's Dillard's, the blue one. Um, and it looks like the green used to be JCPenney. And it's gone. All right, this is no joke. This is a Friday afternoon mm -hmm. at around 3 p.m. And there literally is not a soul in this place. Not in this part, yeah. We just walked in, it's it's very eerie. There is nobody here. It appears we stumbled on the old food court. This place had an identity crisis. <laughs> is, is it sushi or the cookie lady? Is it teriyaki? Is it cookies? What is it? It's it, actually nothing now. Might be both. <laughs> Did locate a sign of life. We saw a mall walker. We seen. T I saw two mall walkers. Oh, you seen two. And um, two ladies that were sitting at a, a table in what used to be the food court. But there doesn't seem to be any restaurants here anymore, or really very few signs of life. There is a Victoria's Secret around the corner that's still open. So there's at least a few stores. That's the first one we've seen. Yeah, well, we, we saw they had a, a spirit uh, store open for Halloween. So that's generally these days a telltale sign. Yeah. that a mall is in trouble. Aww. We continued walking down this corridor and at first it looked like there really wasn't anything going on. But then we spotted Jumpin' Land. And this place looked really cool. I really wanted to go in there and check those inflatables out, but then decided it was probably not for my age bracket. <laughs> yeah, there were a couple of kids playing and it looked like lots of fun. Then right across from Jumpin' Land, I saw something that took my breath away. It was a video game graveyard. 
Yeah, this place was pretty amazing. Obviously, we couldn't go in, but we peeked through the window and there were all these video games that were just sitting there, just put out to pasture, I guess. And I would love to have one or two of those in my basement. That would be totally awesome. Around the corner, we came across this kiddie ride area where most of the rides were not functional, but we found one that was. Keith has convinced me to ride this little makeshift Ferris wheel thingy. I, I just want to note that it at one point had a seatbelt and it doesn't anymore. And if you read the caution here, it says, caution, ride may start with a jolt. So, wish me luck. I don't know. I don't know. If I... <laughs> this is freaking me out. I'm, I'm actually mildly terrified right now. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember riding one of these when I was a kid at the school fair. They had one. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> this is so embarrassing! Are you recording? <laughs> that maybe the train used to go around in a bigger track because take a look at this it's like the world's smallest train track that, that like, like that's train not even there. fun it just goes in the circle we probably get dizzy like our our train at Collin Creek that used to go kind of around the main area um, so yeah I'm not really sure what's going on with the train but there's nobody riding it today. You can have it to yourself. Just come on down to Sherman. All right, we just found the world's largest claw game. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's the world's largest, but it's definitely huge. The giant claw. I kind of want to do it. Does it work? I mean, it's not lighting up, so I'm thinking maybe it doesn't work. I think I can fit on that one. It's kind of weird too, like do you ride on Papa's, kind of on his, his butt sticks out here and you just kind of sit on there? It's weird. It's, it's cute though. It looks like someone has exceeded the weight restriction, but I just want y'all to know I did not sit on this. We sleuthed it out and we found 
the real train. We found the train, you guys. It actually was a bigger, better train. I figured there was one, and it's right inside. Unfortunately, it does not look functional, but it's here. I'm sure it was fun at some point, and it is here. Should I? As far as dead malls go, this place was incredible. It's pretty much the deadest mall we've seen that's still alive, but yet it's dead. Yeah. I mean, it has a few stores. There's a Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. There's a GNC. There's a Dillard's. There's a Dillard's. Burlington Coat Factory. Mm -hmm. And a couple local mom and pop shops. Yeah, but some of them, they had merchandise, but then they weren't actually open. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, the food court is completely dead. Um, the rides are just, as you saw, are just kind of sad. And overall, yeah, this this uh, mall is is on its way out for sure. So I'm glad we came today. Yeah, so we were kind of on the fence whether we were going to stop by or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad we did because I don't know how much longer this place will be around. And a couple of things I read that they attribute this to is one Walmart came into town, Target okay. came into town. So and this is a small town too, yeah. we should tell you guys. It's a pretty small town. So in the 2000s, they opened a open air mall here and JCPenney moved to that. And when I say mall, I think it was more like a strip mall, not like a mall mall. So It's just like a shopping center. Yeah, but this is a small town. It, we're about an hour north of Dallas. I mean, if I lived it here, I'd probably just drive to Dallas to go shopping and that might also have yeah. contributed to its downfall as well. So. Yeah, anyway, if you're ever in the uh, Sherman area, as Abby mentioned, it's about an hour north of Dallas. This mm -hmm. is well worth the uh, visit to come check this place out. Before it dies. <laughs> I don't know what their future plans are. We really couldn't find much on the internet. If you know anything about it, um, comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to check out our other Dead Mall videos. We will link them and we'll see you next time. Bye.